everybody! Welcome to Storytime! My name is Miss Kayla and this is our three to five year old story time. And today we're going to be talking about hair! That's right! Hair for story time. But before we do, I think we need to clap our hands with our hello song. Let's sing it all together. Here we go! Clap your hands! Clap your hands! Everybody clap your hands! Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet. Reach up high, reach up high. Everybody reach up high. Stretch up tall, reach out wide, everybody reach up high. Take a seat, take a seat, everybody take a seat. Fold your hands, cross your feet, everybody take a seat. Yay! Great job, everyone! Well, thank you so much for joining us for story time today. I know that you're sitting crisscross applesauce with your hands in your lap, which means you are ready for story time. But I would like to bring one of my good friends to story time. Her name is Anita Book. Will you all help me call her out? All right, on the count of three, we're all going to say, Hey, Anita! Let's try that all together. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Anita! Oh, boy! Hi, guys! Oh, hi, Anita! Welcome to story time. Thank you so much for joining us on Facebook. Oh, I'm so excited! Today, we are talking about hair. That's right, Anita. We are talking about hair today. By the way, I really like what you've done with your hair. Oh, yes! I'm trying a new hairstyle. It's poofs and Leia buns. I call it a poof bun. Oh, poof buns. Those sound great, Anita. Hey, those of you that are watching at home, can you turn to the person next to you and tell them, I love your hair. Oh, I love your hair, Miss Kayla. Oh, thank you, Anita. That's very nice. Well, I think since we're talking about the letter H for ha ha hair, we should talk about that today. Oh, that sounds great. But before you do, may I sing you my favorite song? Would you all like to hear Anita's song? Yes, if you do, give us a big thumbs up. Great job. Okay, Anita. <laughs> I'm Anita Book. Let's take a look. There's something you should see. You are strong and sweet and smart. A special somebody. Have a happy day. Bye. Can you all say bye to Anita? Bye. Bye, Anita. All right. Well, like Anita said, we're talking about ha, ha, hair. What letter does the word hair start with? That's right, the letter H. Let's get our letter H up on the board. We have a capital letter H and a lowercase letter H. Can you draw the letter H in the air with your finger? Let's give it a try. A line down, a line down, and connect them across. Very good. Can you draw a lowercase H? A line down and a little hump. Let's try it again. A line down with a little hump. Very good. And ha, hump starts with H. Let's find some more words that start with the letter H. What do I have here? Oh, I have the word hands. Hands starts with H. Can you wiggle your hands? How about some jazz hands? Very good. Let's find another word. Oh, this one's a short word. This one is hat. Hat starts with H. And I bet I have a great hat to wear today. 
Let's see if we can find one more word that starts with H. Oh, this one is a new word. You may not have seen this word before. This word is handlebar. You have handlebars on your bike, but I'm thinking of a handlebar mustache. That's a kind of hair. Very good. Let's go ahead and sing hooray for H. And what letter does ha, ha, hooray start with? H. That's right. Here we go. H, H, H. Let's sing hooray for H. H, H, H. Let's sing hooray for H. Hooray! Great job, everyone. All right, let's clear away our H words. Oh, you know what I didn't take off? I didn't take off my hat. You know, I was kind of thinking, my hat is a bit of a silly hat, and I know a silly hat song. Would you like to sing it with me? This song goes to the tune of This Old Man, and we're going to sing, On My Head, I Wear a Hat. It is such a silly hat that it makes my head wiggle. Can you wiggle your head? To and fro. Then we'll see where else our silly hat can go. If you have a silly hat at home, run and go put it on so you can do the silly hat song with me. Here we go. On my head, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that it makes my head wiggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Where should I put my silly hat? <gasps> on my knee? Do hats belong on your knee? All right, well, let's sing our song. On my knee, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that it makes my knee wiggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? <gasps> on my elbow? All right, have you ever put a hat on your elbow before? Okay, here we go. On my elbow, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that it makes my elbow wiggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Where should my silly hat go now? On my toe? Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, let's see if Miss Kayla can do it. Are we ready? On my toe, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that it makes my toe wiggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Where else should I put it? Oh, on my shoulder? Okay, here we go. On my shoulder, I wear a hat. It is such a silly hat that it makes my shoulder wiggle to and fro. Where else can my silly hat go? Yay! Great job, everybody. That was such a silly song. Let's put our silly hats away because it's time to learn a sign. So let's get out our signing hands. Very good. Let's sing it all together. Here we go. It's time to learn a sign. It's time to learn a sign. Let's see what our hands can say. It's time to learn a sign. Yay! Great job, everyone. The sign we're going to learn today is the sign for brushing your hair. This one is a very easy sign because you are going to act out brushing your hair. So pretend that you are holding a hairbrush and then brush it down your hair. I like to brush my hair. Very good. Let's try singing a song about brushing our hair to practice our sign. We will sing, this is the way we brush our hair and do the sign. Here we go. This is the way we brush our hair, brush our hair, brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair so early in the morning. Yay! That was wonderful. But you know, there's some other things that we might do with our hair in the morning. We should wash our hair, right? So let's try washing our hair. We're going to pour some shampoo first and then scrub our head, rinse it all out, dry our hair. Let's see if we can do that together. Let's start by pouring. Here we go. This is the way we pour the shampoo, pour the shampoo, 
pour the shampoo. This is the way we pour the shampoo when we wash our hair. All right, we've got all our shampoo. Let's scrub our head. Here we go. This is the way we scrub our head. Scrub our head, scrub our head. This is the way we scrub our head when we wash our hair. Very good, and we've rinsed all the shampoo out, so we need to dry our hair. Can you dry your hair? Here we go. This is the way we dry our hair. Dry our hair, dry our hair. This is the way we dry our hair. Now our hair is clean. Yay, that's wonderful. You all have such nice, clean hair. Well, I think it's time for us to read about someone else's hair in our book. Let's sing our book song. Here we go. Look, look, it's time for a book. Look, look, it's time for a book. Look, look, it's time for a book. Time for a book right now. Yay, let's see what book we're reading today. Today, we are reading the book Mustache Baby by Bridget Heos, illustrated by Joy Ang. What does that word look like on our picture? It kind of makes a, a mustache, that's right. Wonder what's gonna happen with a mustache and a baby. Let's see, Mustache Baby. When baby Billy was born, his family noticed something odd. Oops, something odd. He had a mustache. Are babies supposed to have mustaches? I don't think so. Let's see. What does this mean? His mother asked. Well, it depends, the nurse said. You'll have to wait and see whether it is a good guy mustache or a bad guy mustache. Oh, see, good guy and bad guy. No, oh, I don't know, let's see what he has. At first, it was plain to see that Billy's mustache was noble and just. He tamed a bucking bronco and became a cowboy. Ooh, look at him riding his horse. He always protected his cattle, cared for injured animals, and mended broken fences. After setting things right on the range, Billy rode off to become, what is he going to become? Oh, a ringleader, a Spanish painter, a sword fighter, and finally, a man of the law. For his neighborhood desperately needed him. With his cop badge, Billy was one tough hombre. He stopped speeders. Can you say stop? Good job. Outlawed poker and caught thieves red-handed. What were they stealing? <gasps> Cookie thieves, oh my. Everyone loved having Officer Billy around, but a funny thing happened as Billy got bigger. His mustache grew and curled up at the ends. <gasps> His parents' worst fears were realized. Billy had a, what did he have? <gasps> a bad guy mustache. Oh no, Billy's disreputable mustache led him into a life of dreadful crime. He became a, <gasps> a cat burglar, <gasps> a serial criminal. Oh, a train robber so heartless that he even stole the tracks. But when he planned the biggest heist of all, a bank robbery, oh, he's robbing a bank. His getaway car wasn't fast enough. He got caught and thrown in jail. Oh no, poor baby. Jail is no place for a baby, even a baby with a mustache. Billy tried to be strong, but he did shed a few tears. Oh, so sorry. After ages and ages, Billy regretted his treacherous thievery. He wished that his evil mustache would go away. At last, his mother busted him out of jail. 
There, there, she said. Everybody has a bad mustache day now and then. Let's dry your tears, his father said. The new neighbors have a baby your age. He's coming over to play. Ding dong. Oh, let's see who's at the door. What does that baby have? A beard. Oh my. The end. Thank you for helping me read this silly book. Well, I am not done talking about mustaches. I think we should sing a song with a mustache in it. So we are going to sing head, shoulders, knees, and mustache. If you don't have a silly mustache to wear at home, you could always use your finger. All right, let's give it a try. We're going to sing head, shoulders, knees, and mustache, and we're gonna sing it nice and slow first. Here we go. Head and shoulders, knees and mustache, knees and mustache, knees and mustache, head and shoulders, knees and mustache, eyes and ears and mouth and mustache. Very good. Do you think you can do that even faster? Let's see if we can sing it faster. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and mustache, knees, and mustache. Head, shoulders, knees, and mustache, knees, and mustache. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and mustache. Head, shoulders, knees, and mustache, knees, and mustache. Yay! Great job, everybody. Well, I think mustaches are great, but you know that other baby, he didn't have a mustache. He had a beard, and I happen to have a really neat book all about beards. Let's sing our book song. Here we go. Look, look, it's time for a book. Look, look, it's time for a book. Look, look, it's time for a book. Time for a book right now. Let's see what book we're reading about beards. Okay, today we are reading Book O Beards by Lemke and Lentz. A wearable book? A wearable book? How do you wear a book? Would I wear a book on my head? I don't think so. On my shoulder? Do you wear it like a hat? <gasps> I don't know. Let's see if this book will show us how, whoa, <gasps> that's how you wear a book. All right, this is the lumberjack beard. This orange beard is softer than fur. In a deep voice, shout out, timber. Oh, oh, the pirate beard. This black beard is braided and large. Squint one eye and let out an arr. Ooh, that one was kind of scary. Let's see what we have. <gasps> a cowboy mustache. This mustache is yellow as straw. Slap on a hat and yell, yeah! Oh my goodness, what else do we have? A sailor beard. Oh, this gray beard is salty all day. Salute and say, anchors away. Oh, let's see what else we have. Oh, this big beard is whiter than snow. Whose beard is this? beard. Grab that belly and ho, ho, ho. Very good. I think we have one more. Oh, the police officer mustache. This brown stash is simply the best. Point and yell, you're under arrest. The end. Oh, I hope you all had as much fun with our wearable book as I did. But you know, you guys can make your own wearable mustaches at home. Just take a paper plate, cut them in half, and make a little notch for the nose, and you and your kiddos can draw all sorts of wild facial hair. Don't forget to take a picture of your crazy mustaches and stick them in the comments below. Sadly, it is the end of our story time, which means it's time to sing our goodbye song. This is a call and answer song. I'll sing it first, and you sing it back to me. Here we go. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. I've enjoyed our time together. It really makes me smile. 
Hope to see you back here next week for more story songs and rhymes. See you later, alligator. Come on back to story time. <laughs>